Hello everyone, how's it going? Vasco here from the Angular Academy. In this lesson we are going to learn how to give our components some style. We are going to learn how to apply CSS styles to them in a maintainable way. Coming right up. In order to style our component we need to pass it via the styles property an array of strings and each string is a string literal containing all the CSS styles that we want to apply specifically to instances of this component and this component only. So let's paste in some styles applying to the button of the search box and let's see this in action. We can see that the styles were applied. Now where are the styles? They are in a head tag in the top of the page embedded in line by Angular transparently, we don't have to worry about this, the styles are there. Now let's inspect the styles, we can see here that the style not only is applied to the component but we have this uh, funny looking underscore ng content style selector. Why is this? This is something that Angular applies automatically to the styles that we have defined associated to the component. This is a unique identifier added to all instances of this component in the page. What this does, and this is a very cool feature, this increases the specificity of the style that is applied to the component, so that let's say for example there were other styles on the page that define the background of a button, this style in all likelihood would override it and take precedence over other styles on the page. So this is a mechanism for isolating partially the component and making its styles more reusable. This means that if we include this component in other pages where other styles are applied, it's very likely that the component will still be displayed correctly as we want it. So it's a huge feature of Angular 2, this partial component isolation. In a future lesson we are going to see how in certain browsers we can get complete isolation. Now let's see how we can put the style in an external file. So we just take the styles and using the styles URL property we are going to paste these styles into an external file. Notice the .component.css extension. Again, this is a best practice. We can now include the styles in the page using the styles URL property and passing in the name of the CSS file. Because we have already applied module.id to this component, the styles will be found by Angular correctly. As we can see, the styles are still being correctly applied even in the external file. Now, we are almost getting to the point where we are going to do our exercise. So stay tuned.